In the last video, we created a Hello World program and saw how to output messages with Python. That's all cool, but one of the main advantages of programming languages is their ability to store and manipulate data. To store data, we use what we call variables. So where is a variable? I like to think of variables as boxes. Each box can have a name and can contain something we call data. Data can be any information we want to store, like phone numbers, names, even a to-do list. Anything you can think of can be stored. For example, here I will be drawing my variable to represent the number of sorts that I own. So to draw the variable, I'm going to create a box. I'm going to give it a name, swords, and I will put inside the number of swords that I own. Right now, let's say I have five swords. There you go. So that's my swords variable. Now I can store any other kind of information. For example, let's create a variable to store my name. So I can call it name and put the information inside. Awesome. Now I can even have a variable to store my to-do list for the day. So let's do it. It's obviously a larger box and I'll call it to do. And I'll put in there everything I want to do today. For example, work out. I also want to uh, eat. I also want to stream. And I also want to maybe read. And there you go. This is how I like to think about variables. It helps me understand the concept better. But obviously, this is not how you represent variables in Python. So after you understand this concept, what comes next is how to create variables in Python. So let's continue to the next video.